y'all got some energy around you that is so raunchy, okay? It's it's greasy. <laughs> Grease and water. Ooh, no. Okay, no. Oh, yeah, spirit. Let that go on ahead and simmer. All right, Taurus, yeah. Okay, could be dealing with the Taurus. Okay, not remember, not one size fits all here. Okay, Taurians, my love. Not one size fits all. Okay, we know that. We know that. Um, yeah, Taurus, the energy's yucky. The energy is yucky. There's something around you. Someone's, like, trying to, like, um, the pre-shuffle is crazy. The pre-shuffle is crazy. Like, I sit here and do my cards like this, and the shit that was coming out, I'm like, what? Come on now. Anyway... Taurus, so let's see what spirit wants you to know, okay? Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Spirit, can we get something positive on a positive note here? All right. Okay. Four swords and the sun in this. Four cut, four pinnacles and the sun in the reverse. Taurus, someone's holding on to you and they're not very happy. Somebody's holding on to some type of, um, somebody's holding on to a grudge. That's what I'm also getting. Spirit, what else for Taurus? Somebody's holding on to a grudge, yeah, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Queen of Swords here. Someone's holding on to a grudge. What was this that feel? Okay, Ten of Cups in the reverse, yeah. They're holding on to a grudge, Taurus. Someone's now starting to see the fact um, in this energy they're not happy. They're holding on to some memories, Taurus, that you and this person may have had, all right? This person may be with someone else new. Maybe with someone else, okay? I'm glad I'm seeing. I'm not seeing the cards that were out before, so that's amazing. Um, this Queen of Swords here is looking over at the Ten of Cups in the reverse, and someone's like, they, they they know deep down inside Taurus that they need to be truthful with themselves. They're not happy. The Sun card in the reverse. They're holding on to you. This Four of Pentacles is uh, Earth energy. Spirit, what we got for Taurus for the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the kind, loving energy, Taurus, the share, give and take, and all that. That's ten pinnacles here. Someone's holding on in hope. This is what they think about, Taurus, when they get unhappy wherever they're at. Un where they're, wherever they're at unhappy, they think about you. They hold on to those memories. But it makes them even more depressed. It makes them more sad. Someone's in this sad, gloomy energy. Okay? Now, oh, wow, the six of pinnacles in the reverse. Someone's holding on so badly because they didn't want to share before. This person was very selfish. So the Six of Pentacles in the upright and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Y'all not y'all know I doubled this deck. So it's crazy that both of those cards came out. One in the upright and one in the reverse. Spirit, give me some more information for Taurus. What's up with Taurus? We got Taurus energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Leo energy. Okay, Gemini energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Could be dealing with any of those signs, Taurus. Wow, that came out quick. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody Taurus here was very, very selfish very selfish wherever they're at Taurus okay whatever they weren't sharing with you they're getting that back let me just say that something's backfiring all right um I'm not gonna say backfiring I'm gonna say um it's like karma's making their rounds and this person's getting exactly what they deserved for being making impulsive decisions Taurus this impulsivity this in and out energy made this person look like they were a confident individual no they were not no, they were not. You were wise, Taurus. You stuck to yourself. All right? This person, Taurus, they need your help. I don't know why I'm getting that temperance energy in the reverse. They want your help or they need your help to get out of something. But, Taurus, I would be very careful of trying to get involved with someone that's with someone else. Because you don't really know clearly of the third party here. There's third party energy here. Of course, right, Taurus? Some card in the reverse. There's third party energy here. They're entertaining something else, but it's making them unhappy. Six of Wands in the reverse. They were not successful. With whatever the F they try to do here, Taurus, to make you feel some type of way. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. A big, like, it, it, it didn't work out. Look at this. Look at this, Taurus. Okay, hold up. We got the Three of Pentacles here in the reverse. And then we got the Six of Cups here in the upright. All right? Wherever they went to, it didn't work out. So now they're looking back at the past. Six of Cups. When everything was going great, maybe this person, Taurus, was very caring and very loving and sharing with you. All right? Because they knew of your stable, loving, kind energy. All right, Taurus. Wherever they're at, they can't cooperate with that person. It's like this person's getting the medicine that they kept giving you. All right? They they fought to try to make you feel less than to go to something that wasn't even going to make them happy. It's like someone here is learning the new meaning of happiness. Look, bottom of the deck here. 
Ten of Pent the not Ten of Pentacles, but the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. They see you with that. They see who you are, Taurus. And then we got the Four of Cups in the upright. They don't want to fuck with it. Okay, they battle with themselves every time of why this breakup even happened. It keeps them stuck. All right, Taurus. It keeps them stuck. And why the f they were so selfish to begin with? Why did I skip up? That, why did I skip up that opportunity with someone? Oh, because I let my ego get in the way, my anger issues get in the way, and I thought I was beautiful. I thought I was sexy. I thought I was handsome, and I thought I can get whatever the fuck I want. Someone here is very arrogant, and they're not going to come out and tell you, Taurus. But wherever they're at. They're getting breadcrumb like a mother. If somebody's not sharing anything with them, there's no new beginning with this person, but they still hold on to when, to what could happen with you and them. Now this person wants to give to you. Somebody wants to give to you wholeheartedly because wherever they went or wherever they're going or wherever they thought was better, they thought the grass was greener there, it's not. There's a third party here and I can feel it. There's a third party. Is it... Nala. Nala. You Okay. Hmm. You snoring and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm doing kind of. I'm doing Taurus's reading, baby. Mm -hmm, I am. Um, the sword two spirit. No, the sun in the reverse spirit for Taurus. Yeah, look, nine of cups, nine of cups. Because of their selfish reasoning or their selfishness, Taurus is causing them to be unhappy, be depressed. Now, I'm also getting this energy towards where this person didn't see this unsuccessful, this, this non-victory happening because they were so stuck on themselves, okay? This person's very much self-absorbed, arrogant. Now they see. Now it's like something's clicking. <laughs> now something's clicking. Yeah, look. The higher fent in the reverse. They were so selfish and about themselves, Taurus. They blocked you out. They blocked out the energy, Taurus. Um, what you were giving to them. Someone is now like in a non-committal situation. Like they're not committing to something or someone's not committing to them because of their selfish deeds. What they were getting over here, remember we saw the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Well, the Ace of Pentacles is here in the reverse. And this person here at one point, Taurus, they're holding on to memories where you used to give. Like I said before, this person maybe was giving to you before as well. But at the same sense, Taurus, this person became selfish and they wanted something else that they thought was better somewhere else. So they missed out on a big opportunity here. They missed out on a big opportunity to be committed and loved by somebody. Just because Taurus, what? Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Nine of Cups in the upright. They only think about themselves. This person really, really thinks and focuses on money, okay? I mean, who doesn't? But, like, this person overly obsesses with it. They go to where someone else has something better looking or something flashy. I don't know what that is. But it's, it's like, gotten them nowhere. Just, it's just a side note, okay? Um, whatever. Spirit, what's this, uh, Queen of Swords in the upright with the Ten of Cups in the reverse for Taurus? Nine of Cups in the reverse, Nine of, uh, Swords in the reverse. Taurus, you're not losing any sleep over this. I'm also getting the energy here, Taurus, where this Queen of Swords here is looking over here at the Ten of Cups in the reverse. You already know this person's unhappy, but you sleep just fine. You sleep just fine. I don't feel like this is a Taurus that's going to Captain save -a I just don't feel like it is. I feel like Taurus is just moving forward. You might, Taurus, be skimming to something on social media or something. Social media is so big between people. It's crazy. You might be skimming through it. You might accidentally see someone else's story that they know. Someone else's story, story. Their cousin's uncle's uh, baby daddy's uh, niece, nephew's uh, brother, baby cousin or whatever. And you see something that they've done. You know, it just slides upon. And Spirit's showing you something. And you see it. And you're coming out of logical energy. energy. Taurus, some, some of you just saw like a sexy ass picture of your ex or something. A handsome picture or something of your ex. And like, you're stronger than what you were before. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. Spirit, give me something for this. What is that? With that queen of, uh... Yeah, look, marriage in the reverse. Like, <laughs> I can't make this up. This, this queen, this queen of swords here. Clarify... Being clarified by marriage in the reverse. It ain't what you want no more. Like, I feel like something's trying to, like, get your attention. Um, it's like this person's subbing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're sending subliminals through other people. And it's, like, not desirable anymore. Maybe this is someone you were married to, Taurus. Maybe, maybe this is someone you're married to right now. But it's, like, it's off. It's, like, nah. I'm good. I'm good on that. And I don't really... No, 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 no. You see already Taurus's person ain't changed. That's why you blocked them in the first place. Why? To take care of self. And you're doing just that. 
Somebody wants your attention so badly, though, Taurus, I ain't going to lie. They want your attention so bad, they're going through so many different other people. This person wants to say, Taurus, that they're sorry for not committing to you because they were being selfish, in case you want to know. You just may want to know. So where's my where's my deck at, Spirit? Where, where is it? Okay, what? I know, Spirit, I just had that. I just had it a second ago. It was kind of get. Oh, okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit, give me something for this. Um, what's the sorry energy? What are they sorry about? What is this? It was just, this was just a sling. See, this person was non-committal, okay? This person was non-committal, Taurus. They want to say they're sorry about their, about their, their uh, selfish deeds. But, and clarifying that, because I felt it. Clarifying that, Taurus, someone says it was just a fling, okay? Where they went to, it was unsuccessful, but at the same sense, it was a fling. Taurus, I feel this queen of swords is you, Okay? I feel the Queen of Swords is you. I also feel towards that you and this person share this Queen of Swords energy. I think somebody's trying to come to their to their to their marbles in some way, shape, or form that you could have been dealing with, someone you could have been married to or was considering marrying, someone that you thought was wifey or husband material. You look at them now and you just see how unhappy they made you. You're thinking from a logical standpoint. Clarifying the Queen of Swords is the marriage card in the reverse. And then we here we got the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's you're unbothered. You're unbothered. And this is so taste. This is not, this is so distasteful to this person because whatever they thought they was going to, I got sunshine. No, nope. You got a pocket full of rain, clouds, and very much of a void. You keep trying to fix and sew it with other people. And you, you in the reality. Now, somebody is in the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Is that big? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I be hearing that, that song sometimes popping up. These kids around the neighborhood and stuff like that, they be all on their gadgets and stuff. I just be hearing it, okay? I be like, okay, okay. Um, seven of Cups at the bottom of this deck here, Taurus. Somebody's deeply confused as to why you took everything away. They they thought they had they thought they had more chances. Do you see the Seven of Cups? They thought they had more time. Okay, but they're they're a bit in this delusional energy, Taurus. Okay, nine of wands. They're very very much um, intimidated by your independence. They're intimidated by why things work out for you, Taurus. I think it's because of your caring, nurturing, loving heart. What you give out, you get back. What this person gave out was nothing but emptiness, sorrow, empty promises. Okay. This person never, ever made the delivery on what the fuck their mouth would be moving around and saying. They never delivered it. They never would deliver it. It was all out of selfishness. It's all what I can get out of you. And, okay, I'm going to move on to the next. I'm just going to, you know, have you on the side. Well, I think this this energy over here is a bit, you like, yeah, you can go ahead and go over to that. And it turned out to be nothing. This person is very money hungry as well. Some of you Tauruses have a lot of problems with this person. They come to you for money sometimes, and you still give them money. You need to stop doing that. I know you don't want to cut that lifeline off for that person because it makes you feel connected, but this person's coming in for that and that alone. They'll tell you anything to butter you up, and they get you so, so they get you built up to the point to where you're like, you know what? All right, I'll do it. And this is including some type of intimacy as well. So y'all are making a constant. It's not non-consensual, but it's an exchange, all right? And then they go off about their business. But this person's portraying to be happy and things like that, Taurus. And I think you being in this energy where they're holding on, Taurus, to you giving to them, they hold on to that. They hold on to that tight. That's something that they look forward to, okay? In order for somebody to know what they're not, what they don't have, you're going to have to cut off the resource. You're going to have to cut off those resources. Even though it may hurt you, Taurus, in, in, in deep inside to do that, it's something that you're going to have to be strong enough to do because the more you keep handing out to this person, they're not sticking with you. And that's not it. I'm not trying to say be manipulative just to take their candy away so they come looking for their candy. No. You need to cut that resource off because in, in actuality, Taurus, it's a faucet running and, you, and you're, not, you're not leaving it off. It's like you might as well go in your kitchen and turn on the faucet and let it run all night, all day. Because this person knows that whenever they get good and ready, they can put that cup up underneath that faucet and they fill it up with water. And then when they're done, they leave. They don't even turn the faucet off themselves. They're not considerate to do it. They'll leave it on because they'll be back for more. They'll be back for more. Once that cup of water is over or done with, they'll be back for more. And as you're, the water, the faucet keeps running towards because you're still, you're still 
needing your resources. You're still, you're, look, think about it. Your car notes, your home, your rent, whatever it is, your mortgages, your, you know, you're taking your kids to soccer, whatever the heck it is, summer activities, food. You're still, you still have that, 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 the faucet's still running because there's still resources that you're needing to use for yourself. But this person gets good and damn ready and they come put their cup right up underneath. They fill that motherfucker up and Taurus, it gets bigger every time they show up the cup. And they fill it right up. And they walk away from it. And they leave the faucet on. They just leave it on. They're not even considerate enough to like, hey, let me give Taurus a break. Let me turn the faucet off. Let me try to save some type of resource for the nope. It's not about that. It's about what they can get. It's about what they can get. And this person keeps telling you that something that they're dealing with that's for a third party is just a flame. No, it's not. They're, they're, they're still thinking about themselves. Like I said, that nine of cups energy. Where I said that this person's a bit selfish. They do want to apologize for it. But the apology's not sincere because they keep doing it. Okay, there is no change behind that. Like I said, those when you keep that faucet on, they keep bringing them cups. They keep getting bigger and bigger. Alright, because wherever they went, it's not successful. But they want to keep that. Okay, in some way, shape, or form. Whatever's giving in that energy, I don't know. Maybe it's appearances, whatever. But they come and they try to leak you dry. They hold on to the fact, Taurus, that they know you're giving. But they're not. <laughs> Come on. They're not. I don't care if it's just energy, money, sex, whatever it is, whatever have you. They're not. They're not that they're not they're not like you. I'm not saying look, we don't want somebody to be just like us, but we want somebody to be considerate, you know? When you actually st stand out there, Taurus, and, and you stick your neck out for people, you kind of want them not to sit there and slice them other effort. You want them to kind of probably put a scarf around it and make sure it stays, you know, secure and it's okay and it's and it's protected. This person is not like that, okay? Whoever this is, remember, what size doesn't fit all? So, Taurus, maybe you might believe a different, a, a different situation here, but whatever's going on, Taurus, it's, you're, you're going to you're gonna stop losing sleep over this. Some of you guys are going to make the conscious decision to be like, you know what, I, I can't no more. I can't. i got to stop. i got to stop. And it won't be that easy to stop because this person's going to be like, wow, you're disrespectful to me. You're cutting me off. You're cutting this off. You're not allowing, you're not allowing me to come in and... Keep giving you this false hope. That there's going to be a brand new beginning. Oh, what? I really missed an opportunity. You're just going to, you're just going to put me off like that? Hell, yes, I am going to put you off like that. Yes, I am going to put you off like that. You're not giving. You, it's not giving. <laughs> Whatever that you wanted to give, Taurus, it's not giving. Spirits say you're destined to have better. You're destined to have better. No more losing sleep and going towards what it is you're destined to have. It's no longer about this person, even though you might see it. I think somebody sends you subs, subliminals or something like that. Even though you may not see it, Taurus, okay, right now, all right? Even though you may not see it right now, I think that you're being logical in some way, sense, some way, shape, or form. There's a Taurus that's actually looking like, what? I thought that was my happiness. I thought that was my end-all, be-all. I thought it was everything I wanted. And it's like, you know, you're going to get to this point, Taurus, where it's like, it's not going to even bother you no more. You won't be losing sleep. It won't give you anxiety. Some of you have hypertension. It's okay. You're taking good care of that as well as I'm hearing. Okay, but you need to move forward towards the future because there's beautiful things out there. This is the will of fortune in the upright, honey, not the reverse. But you ain't going to be able to... You, you can't go to a door that God has... That God's opening for you if you keep staying stuck in a room that gets it's still dark. God's opening up a door... Um, your angels are opening up a door. Your ancestors are opening up a door. And you see all this bright light, you know, on that other side. But you've been so used to the dark that you're afraid of going towards that light. And it kind of bothers your eyes because you've been sitting in that room for so long. So, like I said, this might be a little bit hard to cut this person completely loose or cut them off. You might not, well, what's going to happen to them? Are they going to be safe? They're going to be just fine because they're in the Lord's hands just like you are, Taurus. They're going to be just fine. It's just that when are you going to learn to quit? When are you going to learn to stop? When are you going to learn to see that this is not serving you? It's serving someone else, but it's not serving you. It's keeping you stuck in something. And this person can run around all day and say, it's just a flame. Yeah, but there's still someone else in the mix. There is still someone else here like I felt. Spirit, give me something for this is just a flame. Look, page of cups. This is gaslighting. This is a baby ass cup. Y'all know, Taurus, I'm still... I'm still just smile. That punk ass cup gets me every time. I don't know. It ain't enough. Look at this. And I just said it ain't enough. And look at this. Justice in the reverse. It ain't justified. It ain't fair. 
It's not fair to you. Yes, look at this. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not fair to you. Nine of Cups. Somebody gaslights. They get your energy. Whatever this exchange is, there's some type of exchange between you and this person. If you haven't spoken to them, Taurus, it could be a negative exchange energetically. This person does a lot, Taurus, so they stay on your mind a lot. They constantly want to stop your money or they don't want you to be happy or they make you stay stuck thinking about them all day when you're working or when you're trying to go exercise, when you're trying to be happy. You can't go out and have a good time because you're always thinking about what this person is doing towards what they're doing to you is unfair. It ain't right. They don't want you to have the Ten of Pentacles. They don't want you to have that. They want to be able to come in and out with a Casanova energy because they think that they're better. They want you to lose sleep over them being unhappy. They want you to lose sleep over them being unhappy. And they want you to see them as this marriage material type thing. So you can come save a hoe. Taurus, go on ahead and put your cap. Go on ahead and put go on ahead and put on your little uh your little cape, Taurus. Go on ahead and put your little cape on if you feel like it. You're gonna get tired of it eventually. You're gonna get tired of the gaslighting. Okay, because not only do we have the page of cups, the punk cup, but we also saw the knight of cups, and that was in the reverse. It's just it's all just made up. Somebody knows exactly how to get to you, knowing they're not treating you fairly, knowing that they're taking from you, okay? The Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse. Again, it doesn't just have to be money. It could be your health. It could be your mind, Taurus. It could be your mental health. It could be just you tearing away at yourself and you're not even noticing it. You don't stop losing sleep over their unhappiness because they ain't got shit to do with you. You got things to do. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You got things to do. You got things to celebrate. Hello? Like I said, too, also, there's a third party here. Okay? There's a third party here. And this person wants you to take... This person kind of wants you to take them along with... They, they want you to take them along where you're going. Okay? This Wheel of Fortune energy just feels like it's good places, Taurus. I just can't stop thinking about it. The Nine of Swords reverse, like no longer losing sleep over it. Starting to focus on yourself. It's going to lead you to good places, good things, good memories. And this person wants to go with you. But they also can't let go of somebody else, like I said. There's something sticking out. Yeah, look. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It has you up in your mind all the time. It's like a battlefield. Okay? It has you up in your head all the time. This person's all up in their head, afraid towards that you're going to leave them. But they can't let go of the silly things to have you. Okay? To have you and there we go with that queen of swords again time to be logical Taurus. this person ain't doing something right they being unfair unjust okay and as they're doing that that unjust that card in the reverse that justice card in the reverse but here we got the will of fortune in the upright now you decide what side you're on that should give you pure clarity of what you're doing if you're out there using somebody just for their energy if you're trying to cipher their energy from them if you're trying to use them for money or you're just trying to use them for some type of excuse or you're trying to use them to make them jealous whatever the case have you Stop. <laughs> you're racking up some bad karma for yourself. It's just not going to go nowhere. Eventually, whoever you're doing this to is going to wake up and they're going to see it. They will no longer lose sleep over you being unhappy because they're going to get logical and they're going to start seeing, you ain't marriage material and I'm glad I divorced. I don't want to go back. Okay? Okay? I said I do. I did. I'm done. Okay? I wanted to say I do. I tried to say, I tried to do, but I didn't get a chance to do because there's too many other people that you doing, okay? Get on. No, 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 no. No, this is just going to be a no, Taurus. I know you're tired of hearing that, but it's a no. Friendship in the reverse. Somebody still wants to be your friend so they can tag along with you. No, uh-uh. Taurus, don't, don't let that hinder your happiness. Okay, your heart chakra energy. And I'm also getting here like... um. Third eye energy. Listen to your intuition. Somebody just wants to hold on for, for strange reasons. With these punk cups and things like that. With the hierophant here in the reverse. This person... They just don't respect you. I think all the respect is lost. Because how much you keep giving. Or how much you have given to them. So much so that they just... Adversity. Taurus, you're learning to face your challenges, okay? You accept the challenges that life has to offer you. And this is a big challenge for you to get over this. Like I said, it won't be easy. But somebody truly fears your come up. Somebody truly fears your spiritual uh, new beginning. Being bright and beautiful, okay? Somebody wants you to wallow in sadness, grief, guilt, depression. And it's just not 
Some of you might feel that you are a Taurus, but you can come out of this. All right, you can. It's just someone wanting to project because they're not happy. They want you to lose sleep over them not being happy. They want you to sit there and, and, and fight with yourself. Should I go and fix it for them or should I just leave them be? You get to make that decision, Taurus, okay? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. It came right back out again. Hmm. Happiness. Somebody knows, Taurus, that you can take up the challenge. Taurus, somebody knows you can be logical. Somebody knows that you can stop losing sleep over what the fuck they're doing. They're in fear of that. Because guess what? You're going to have happiness. And I can't make it up. You're going to have happiness. All right? If you discipline yourself, Taurus, and stop giving to those that don't need your energy, that need that try to need your energy, Taurus, for the wrong reasons. They want to use it up for whatever reason. They want to have some type of connect to it. They want to stay to it. It's like a pipeline, okay? But once you crack that mother effer, okay? Ain't no more. It, it, it's it's going, psh, it's busted. Ain't, there, there's no more resources coming towards this. No more. You've done enough. You've done enough to somebody that's not grateful for the energy that you give to them. The energy that you don't have to. You're not obligated to give them anything. But you still do. You know your worth, Taurus. I can see your worth here, but do you know your worth? Can you see it? Do you look in the mirror every day and say, damn, I'm more worth than that. I I'm more worthy than that. I am need to stay around somebody. There's so much out there. Okay? I know draining is draining Taurus to date. Okay, it's draining Taurus to find this someone, but why would you stick around this when there's just that possibility, Taurus? Even if it's fucking 1%, it's still a possibility of someone that's willing to take you and want to give you the world. Not wanting to take your power away, but wanting to add to it. Wanting to add peace to your life. They want to add joy into your life. Instead of always subtracting. Like, no, Taurus, you do as you please, babe. This has been your reading, Taurus. I hope that it gave you some clarity, okay? If it did not, loves, it's all good. Maybe come back and I'll have something for you next time. Taurus, I love you guys. To the moon and back. If somebody says just smile, I love you. They're what, Taurus? Thank you, Taurus. It's so full of liars out there. I don't even understand why. Um, <laughs> guys, I love you so much. To the moon and back. I hope that you have a very fantastic, great weekend, Taurus, okay? Take care of yourself. Stay faithful. Stay confident, love. Because that's that's what people want to do. They want to take your confidence. Because if they strip that, then they have access just to get to where it hurts. Uh, no. <laughs> I love me, honey. Okay? I love me. And it's a long journey. Like I said, I, what, did I say that in y'all's last reading? I said that people say, you know, like you don't find self-love, you know, all in one all in one big old sh shebang. Do your, do your shadow work, Taurus, and you find self-love and then you in it like Flynn. No, you're not. You have to love yourself every day, every day until that shit becomes natural, like brushing your teeth, natural, like putting on shoes before you leave the house to go to work or go out to the mall or go anywhere. It comes natural. It's a job. It's like, you know how some people get up and they just like get ready to go. And there's one thing they hate about getting ready. Do you know what I mean? There's that one thing, shit, whether it's putting on eyeliner, whether it's combing or washing or blow drying their hair, they just don't feel like doing it, but they're not going to skip that step because it needs to be done. Well, eventually, that's what's going to happen. Every day, you're going to have to strive to love yourself. And guess what? You can. <laughs> you can, babe. You can. Most definitely. Most definitely. Especially getting here and then seeing someone in fear of that. Oh, <laughs> baby. Cancel Christmas on them. Okay? Yes, I got that from the show Power. You know. You know. You know. All right, loves. I'll talk to you next time, Taurus. I hope you have a very beautiful Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. I don't know. I'm kind of a lot beat, you guys. But I'm still going. Love you, Taurus. See you later, guys. Bye.